Hey, Dennis. Hey, Fessel. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me back. Good to be back with you. How was yesterday, man? Uh, yesterday was a bit rough. I, uh, you know, I ended up uh, getting a migraine headache. So, um, you know, I ended up kind of dealing with that all day yesterday. But fortunately, I am uh, feeling better and uh, getting back in action. Are you, are you feeling stupid or not? I'm, I'm always feeling borderline stupid. So, and I mean, all you have to do is just ask around. People will be happy to tell you that, yes, I am, so. <laughs> okay, okay, well, what's going on in your part of the world? What the hell is this, man? You know, boy, FQ, I see these, I, I, I saw something similar this, to this yesterday as I was traveling to the doctor. And, um, you know, I, I don't know, I, don't, I, 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 you know, the first picture that you had up, I can see the stupidity in that. However, with this one, I don't know that stupid really applies. I think this is more selfish and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know other than what we've talked about is people, um, you know, that whole don't tread on me uh, part of the American culture that seems to be having a resurgence right now. Okay, now, I don't know if this is selfish. I think this is also plain stupid. Okay. Because uh, what people are not, you know, yes, in the short term, maybe it's, it's, it's selfish, but it's suicidal. If, if they think somebody else will get infected and won't come to me, that's stupid. If, 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 they, if somebody else gets infected, eventually it's going to bloody come to your door. Mm -hmm. I mean, how the fuck do you think it's not going to come to you? Well, I, I just, I, I tell you, there's a, there's a very strong sentiment in, in the United States, which is that it's not the government's job to protect us from ourselves. And, you know, I, I think that we're seeing kind of a shift in that as, as you know, younger, uh, younger politicians get into, into the mix and, and bring new ideas and, and so forth. And, um, yeah, I, I think it's just, I think, I think this statement kind of says it all. Your health is not more important than my liberties. And if you look at that from a linguistic standpoint, really it's saying that, that my freedom is more important than your health. And so it, it's kind of an individualistic uh, mindset as opposed yes. to... Um, you know, how can we all kind of come together and, and, you know, take care of one another? I just got to say, though, I do think I, I, I'm looking right at the license plate here and I can't see what state that that's from. But to have the I don't know what germ slash K means. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> so something about germs, maybe it should have said virus. I, I don't know. Maybe that they, it's time to update that uh, that license plate to say I wish virus. I wish I wish I had one of those. Software which devises and shows the hidden words like on TV. I don't think that bloody thing exists, but um, no, I can't make anything out of the words. Nothing at all. So yeah, no, it says G-E-R-M dash K. So I can read so germ dash K. I can read, but is yeah. this? I I'm not be sure surprised. which state. I, I'm like, honestly not sure which which part of the United States that that, that one's from. Actually, I can't. Uh, I can't yeah, read it. Even Plus, I can't. Even here mm -hmm. in my own state, uh, we used to just have one license plate, and then we, we started getting some others, and, and now I can't even tell license plate from my own state anymore because we've, we've changed them so much. Yeah, this is great. But I, this I, is fun. Yeah, totally fun. And I'm just going to say, I don't know who the artist is on this, that, that, but great job. I, absolutely hysterical. The only thing I will say is I think uh, Mr. Modi needs to be holding uh, also some lemons and hot water as well. Because I, I hear that. <laughs> Lemons and hot water kind of fixes everything, so, right? Uh, so, so, okay, here's my question. Are people all ridiculous? Or has the internet made them ridiculous? Or um, were people always this ridiculous? And internet has just exposed them because now we can see stuff from all over the world. Which we are. You know, I, I don't know. I think you're talking kind of chicken and egg type of thing there, which came first. I, I'm not I'm not really sure. I, I think there's probably always been a certain level of stupidity that's existed. However, now it's being broadcast into us all the time. I mean, you and I, I there's obviously people that think that this is stupid. I mean, compared to some of the comments we get. So, um, you know, I think that stupidity is in the eye of beholder. Uh, however, when you're driving around, when you're driving around with stuff painted all over your vehicle, you're, you're kind of just advertising to everybody else that you're stupid as well. Okay, now here's the thing. <clears throat> now, my opinion is that it has become okay to be stupid, aggressive. More exciting with them and defending it. That's, that's where I think the real fear, fear is. I mean, that's the shit part. 
Yeah, you know, and it's interesting because, uh, you know, I see that kind of stuff. And as somebody, you know, as, as an American and somebody, I, I was I was in the U.S. Armed Forces. You know, I served a term and I was in for just under six years. And, um, you know, I served my community in a, the, the fire department for, for almost 25 years of my life. And the interesting thing is, is that when I, when I take and go out of my house and I have a mask on, I mean, I, I'm, people are, are, are calling me a fascist. The, the, the funniest thing is, like, I, I really get, I really, the, even before COVID, the crazy part is um, how many times uh, I get called a, a liberal or a snowflake simply because I drive an electric car. <laughs> So now you combine I drive an electric car and I'm wearing a mask. I mean, I'm being I'm being called anti-American. I'm being called, you know, like you're, you're not a patriot. So I, I it's really interesting the, the the shift. You know, I'm somebody that I, I spent literally 26 years of my life doing things to serve my country and my community. However, now I'm I, if I put a mask on, it's all of a sudden a political statement and it has nothing to do with the virus. So it's just kind of an interesting interesting turn of events okay russell brand and ricky just did this uh, whole uh, sort of a live stream joint thing about three days ago i was watching that I, I i picked up two lines from that and they're beautiful one he said glorification of idiocy you know and the second was celebration of stupidity mm -hmm. and and if i made i i these two lines really, I, I enjoyed that. And, and I think that's, that's what's happening because um, like, like the other day, I think, um, yeah, I was on a live stream from the street and I was getting really angry. And I, a couple of times I said, Jesus Christ, I took Jesus' name in vain. Um, and suddenly I was getting, oh yeah, you, you know, you English elite type. So it has actually become, it has actually become, uh, uh, I mean, people attack you for being sensible or educated. I'm not saying what I was saying was sensible, uh -huh. but people actually attack you if you're sensible or if you act educated. So the masses who are generally, and God forbid, I'm not saying that we are smarter than the other, we are, but, um, uh, but it, it, the, 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 you know, the, God, I'm trying to be careful. Or should I just be blatant and, and Ricky, just, Ricky Gervaisish? The idiots have ganged up and they're saying being idiotic is okay and people not idiots and they're like you know oh you're, you're you're an embarrassment because you're not an idiot and and all these idiots are ganging up and they're actually making a fair point saying well, well not a fair point an unfair point saying that hey we are idiots and you're not so screw you you're you're the bad party and i'm seeing that more and more absolutely no absolutely and and i think i think in a lot of that from a psychology perspective we're really talking about group think right i mean we're because at some point that's that's serving us and it's serving us to be a part of of you know the the mix the chaos that's that's going on um i again i, I think a lot of it's group think I, and i think I, i'm just going to come out and say i think that the people that really um celebrate stupidity like for real these are the same type of people that that are secretly filming everybody to like see if they're going to fall down. These are the people that watch YouTube videos to watch, you know, to laugh at people getting hurt. You know, <laughs> I, I yeah. just think it's all it's all a certain kind of people. I think that at the same time, um, one, I, I don't see that stuff. Those those vehicles painted like that. I don't see that that often. Uh, I can tell you in my home state, the protest that was done, the reopen protest, there was literally like 100 vehicles there on a Sunday at the state capitol that's already shut down. There's no business on Sunday anyway at the state capitol. So I don't even know what the whole point of it was. And what I'm hearing about the protests is that, well, we're protesting because we have the right to protest. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I have the right to punch myself in the face, and I, <laughs> but I don't I'm, choose to I, do I, that. I was about to say that you know it's people's constitutional right to slap themselves. Uh, I think people mm -hmm. should. Uh, sure. I think it's also the constitutional right to, uh, um, uh, I was about to say that they should go and get themselves infected, but that's not funny because then, you know, they would become a burden on the, on the, on the, on the healthcare system. So that's not okay. But you know what? Okay. And I'm already, I'm all, you know, both of us are already getting crap now on the timeline. And while having this conversation, I had a realization, um, and, 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 you know, I, I, I watch a lot of lot of other broadcaster stuff, and the two people, uh, three people actually, uh, I, I really enjoy. Uh, you know, uh, Russell Brand. I I'm in love with that guy. 
um, and uh, Ricky Gervais. I've been following him for about, you know, since his days when he did The Office. God, how many years ago? He's become he's become household name now. Sure. But I've been in love with him for a long, long time. Um, and Piers Morgan, because oh. and, and all these three people are shamelessly arrogant. And, and I just realized, you know, that when it's become so fashionable to be stupid, why is it not, why can't I be fashionable about being, about self-glorifying? Well, I think you can do whatever you want. I think you can no, do but, whatever you want. I think... No, no, of course, it's my constitutional right to do whatever I want. What I'm saying is that maybe that is the right way to do it. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps. I, I don't know that there's a right or a wrong way. Um, I think it's just a matter of, uh, uh, thank you, Khalid. I appreciate that comment. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think that there are, uh, I, I think that we can choose to be however we want. I, I, it, I think we are certain ways depending upon the context. And um, I don't know, it's like I tell people is, you know, the way I am to you is based on the way that you interact with me. So I, I'm not always the same person. I, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that, FQ. Uh, well, the cynicism has started on the screen. You know, uh, I'll translate this one for you. This is the bearded old man has come. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I, I don't think I want to do these intelligent conversations. Screw intelligent. I just want to take the piss out of people, man. That's what I want to do. Well, I mean, I can't help but be intelligent. I just, that's just who I am. So. <laughs> what? Yeah, well. Shameless self promotion. <laughs> no, like, why the hell not, man? I mean, why the. So I was, I was cleaning up my desk today and um, I found this, which I had completely forgotten existed in my life. Oh, come on, where is it? Where's the little bag? Yeah, here. Yeah. Mmm. This is from like 15, 20 years ago. And it just showed up. Oh, yes, your pins. These are Mensa pins. Okay. I'm the founding chairperson of Mensa Pakistan. No kidding. No kidding. IKEA 165, la. Wow. Yeah, well, exactly. I, I was going to take the test, but I figured I was too smart. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know, for the, for the longest time, I thought I was stupid mm -hmm. in my early, early years. And then when I took this test, and I, I, never, I, I didn't tell anyone I'm going to test. And mm -hmm. I did, and I, I still didn't tell anyone. And then came the result. I was like, wait a minute, I'm the smart one here, guys. Because, because my brother is like a PhD pathologist and you know, stuff. My sister's like a doctor and I'm like a total bum. I, uh -huh. I, could, I, just, I just couldn't manage school. I was actually, you know, I couldn't manage school. And, and when I took this test, I realized, wait a minute, I couldn't manage school because I'm such a bloody genius. And right. I've never looked back since then. Okay, now people are, okay, I, I'm going to take the piss out of these people. Come on. Come on, baby. And I would just ask if it's something about me, like, let's, uh, let's, I just put it in English so I can understand it, please. And let me, let me enjoy it as well. I, I yeah, appreciate well, I'll translate for you. Don't worry, I'll, I'll translate for you. So FQ, I got a question for you. So how yeah. about the, how about those of us, how about, and I will include, I'll just speak for myself here. How about those of us that deliberately don't participate in things because we don't want to be considered like a part of the mix or a part of the fray. So we, I don't, I don't want to be viewed as celebrating stupidity. So, so my question is, is what, what about, where does that leave the rest of us when it seems like this is the direction that things are going? And I, and I mean this by, you know, people will take, and we talked about this a few episodes ago when we were talking about content, and you know, we put content out, and it seems the content that really gets the most traction these days are, are these kind of conversations. It's, it, it, it's not about really uh, educational type of material. So it's, it's interesting. Um, I have not participated in a lot of broadcasts. Um, I have not participated in, I, and I've actually backed off of social media only because I didn't want to be viewed as participating. Why? What's that? Oh, you, oh, you, you, oh, you wanted to act like you're not on the bandwagon. Correct. So, so in another way, well, I mean, was I, was I being stupid in another way? 
Well, egotistical, yeah, sure. I don't know about stupid, but egotistical. And, um, and, and see, there are two reasons why, why one doesn't do it, because every now and then I stop doing it as well. Um, uh, and, and, it, and primarily it's because we see that it's not, you know, what's out there is, is not what you want to do. You, you just can't make, I'm not saying good or bad, you just can't make yourself do it. Um, and, um, and then also there's a bit of ego where he says, well, everyone's doing it, why should I do it? So just trying to be different. Um, which I both find there's nothing wrong with it actually trying to be different is carving your own niche uh, but then if there's, if there's a bandwagon which is really getting somewhere and if, you, and if you miss out on that that's a mistake as well sure so you know you should get in the bandwagon uh, on the on this internet social media broadcasting bandwagon um, I think I'm one of the very earliest internet broadcasters uh, well I, I'm the earliest internet broadcaster in Pakistan and okay. one of the earliest in the world, I think. Um, you know, I'm really out to brag today. Screw everyone, man. Um, I actually launched a full-scale web-based television channel long before there was such a concept. Yeah. I mean, you've been, you've been doing this a uh, while. I mean, and, and I don't know. If you, you said something, it, it, you're bragging no, about yourself. I launched I mean, it, I, it, is it. Is it bragging yeah, if you've actually done it? Uh, yeah, okay, interesting. It is considered, it is considered uh, not sexy to talk about yourself. And, well, I, think, and I, I think... I, I, yeah. I, I, and I, I think I fall into that trap more than once where I would, uh, you know, when, when I release videos, I do not send out um, a, a broadcast on my WhatsApp groups. When I see other, other, other friends of mine doing it blatantly, oh, watch my video. I don't, I'm like... Bleh. Why should I? And I think that's stupid. I mean, why shouldn't I? I, 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 I think I put it out. I'm going to broadcast it. I'm going to, but then I feel, oh, it's going to annoy people. But other people don't give a shit if it annoys people. Right. And, and I guess that comes out of the question is, why, why am I more conscientious about being viewed as stupid than so many other people? So, I mean, I, I, this kind of now we're talking like some self-sabotage. I don't want to get back down into that road. But I think that some of these are just kind of limiting beliefs of, you know, wh where do I fall into all of this? And I don't want to look this way, but we don't always think that we can, like, if I don't want to be this way, then how can I be? I think we, we focus so much on what we don't want and how we don't want things to be, as opposed to I want them to be this way. So it, it just, it, it's a flipping the script a little bit. Um, so, you know, I think, uh, you know, for myself, I think I have really, I don't know, I think maybe in some ways I've missed the boat by taking and staying out of, the stupid yeah. conversations. I think I've, I've missed opportunities because, um, well, truthfully, I mean, if I'm just being transparent, I was being judgmental towards those people. I do find it stupid. I don't like stupidity. And I didn't want to be a part of it. And they were, and they were achieving while, while we were not. That's correct. That's correct. So, so even though I held myself to my own standards, I ended up putting myself behind. Well, you know what, Dennis? Let's NLP ourselves tonight. Yes. Fuck that shit, man. Right. Let's do it. No, absolutely. Screw this it. Is, this is why I said yes to coming on here. I, you know, um, you know and I, I just want to say, uh, Munizi, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Being idiotic and being stupid is quite okay for those smart ones who could be justified their mistakes well. I like that. Um, I think that, you know, being stupid is, is okay sometimes. It just depends on what it is. And, and, and I think we always just... I, what I would like, I don't think we need to do anything. What I would like to see is that, um, you know, we start thinking a little bit more about everybody around us and thinking about how our behavior affects others. You know, when I see people driving down the road with, with that stuff on their car, like my freedoms are more important than your health. I, I mean, my first, I mean, I'm a human. I, I feel like I'm a little bit elevated at, at, on times. But, you know, my first reaction to that is I, I literally, like, I want to kick their ass. Like, how dare you? It, it's really, really frustrating. So I, I, for me, I have had to kind of take a collective pause on the stupidity for a little bit. Yes. Okay, the two things. One is being a hard sell. I think what we were talking about a moment ago was that we don't bother to sell ourselves. We undermine ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we can achieve this much. We're capable of this much. We can deliver this much. But we ourselves, in our actions and words, undermine ourselves. Where is this scar? That's just plain stupid. Right, because 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 that goes against 
against the uh, the common good. That goes against the common good. I, I, FQ, I look at people that put that stuff on their cars and, and that sort of thing. I look at them as they're they're just they're just trying to be provocateurs. You know, they're they're trying to they're trying to kind of uh, be, be provocative. They wanna they wanna kind of make a point. They they're I think in some ways what they ultimately want is they want people to say something to them. They, they want to people to engage them so that they can be right. And, and, and yeah, with engagement, they were, I've always said this, and I used to say it in some new resolutions here. You know, I used to say that, that, that trolls and idiots, they feed on engagement. The more you argue with them, you know, the more encouraged they are. They, you know, they feel better about themselves. Um, and in the process, what I've realized is they still achieve their goals by being stupid while we're sitting here. Guess what? Now, look at this. Now, whoever wrote this shit, they don't even know it. We're sitting here talking about them. Who's better off? We're the idiots. We're the losers, my friend. I know, but, but you're really good looking and handsome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Sheikh. Okay, so since, since, since I have a new resolution, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a hard sell. Look at this. This is from eight years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I launched a, it was a full fledged TV channel on YouTube with, um, sorry, I have my screen is here, with um, this many, this was actual programming. These are all programs, yeah. which we used to run regularly on a schedule. We, we were treating it like a TV channel. Mm -hmm. And this was eight years ago, before, before anyone was organizing proper TV channels. Yes. All right. So, yeah, we're going to start telling people. Hmm. We're going to so start you, telling why people. Why do you think that you did it? Why do you think that that's, I, so I, I still, so we talk about NLPing one another. I, my, I'm still a little bit stuck on the, the word bragging. And, and I understand, I don't think, I just, I, to me, that's not really bragging when, you're t when you are yeah. presenting what, what you have achieved. I think bragging is, um, oh, I did that. Oh, you did that? Okay, well, this is what I do. You know, yeah. I think it's I, Ian Hottie. There it is. Thank you, Zion. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> that. That's a uh, insecure judgment person. Ego will take you nowhere. Stop saying mad shit about others. Uh, yeah, I think it comes <laughs> down to are you looking <laughs> I don't know if that's directed at us. Um, however, uh, you know, I think sometimes <laughs> when you... There's a big difference in motivation when I'm trying to do something for me as opposed to doing something to tear someone else down. And so if we, if I I think we just have to like look at motive and intention. Ultimate songs on your YouTube account. Share the songs. Post on your account. Looks like some people want your playlist. Well, it is a playlist. I, on my on my uh, on my personal YouTube account, I've got this list called uh, Ultimate Songs. I'm, I'm obsessed with music. Yes. It's a very important part of my life. So I've made this list of the ultimate songs I've ever heard in my life. From back in the bloody 50s, I wasn't born then, but things, you know, going back to Jim Reeves and Engelbert Humperdinck, Humperdinck and, you know, Johnny Mathis's and from there till the, the Wu Brothers and whatever, till the latest and the Rammstein. So it's my, it's my mega ultimate <laughs> playlist. Some some of the songs are beautiful, man. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> I, I listen to a lot of German music, by the way. Okay. Too bad we can't play because I'm going to get a strike if I play music. But I, some of the German songs, ultimate. There's a band called Tic Tac Toe. Okay. Uh, from uh, back in the 80s, they're, they're not they don't they're not they're not a group anymore. Amazing songs if you're into German. Interesting. That's a, my, my son, my oldest son, he is actually very much into German death metal. He loves that stuff. So, yeah, I'm glad he has his own place now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. It's, it's a, bit, a loud. bit much. Yeah, it makes you kind of want to go out and kill people. So, uh, so have we NLP'd ourselves and cured ourselves of trying to... Okay, you, you, you were saying something about bragging. Um, mm -hmm. so my, bragging is where you are trying to, to tell something just because you want to demean or, right. or, or undermine the other person. Right. Whereas I'm talking about not underselling it. Don't oversell. 
Mm -hmm. But don't undersell. We undersell and undermine ourselves. In negotiation, we would accept lesser just because we think we're not good enough or we don't deserve more. So we, you know, and I, th and I think I'm going to, I'd like to move, if, if you're okay, I'd like to move this conversation in that direction. Yeah. A lot of people undermine or undersell themselves. Not self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is, is bigger. Right. Where, they, where they're really hurting themselves and destroying themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about just undermining or, or, or underselling themselves. Yeah, and I think, it's, I think it's coming down to really kind of looking at, the, at words. And I think that there's a difference between bragging and self-promotion. And, and self-promotion is, is a business skill, um, especially in, in this type of a, a, you know, context. Um, you, there's, I, I kind of operate by a, a real simple philosophy. If I don't mm -hmm. tell people about something, they're not going to know. Exactly. Uh, it, for me, it's about understanding, uh, you know, the, the timing of it and, and when to say things. So I, I, I just, to me, if you're going to be self-promoting, it has to take and uh, it has to be, here's, let me see if I can put this right. So if we're going to do self, I think self-promotion is different than bragging as bragging breaks rapport. So with the audience, if you're starting to brag, you end up breaking rapport. When we break rapport, everything is kind of over. And now we, we're, we're struggling to, to get that rapport back again. Okay, I said something earlier where whoever, whoever scar that is, um, guess what? They, 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 they're probably just, you know, having fun in the house while we're sitting here discussing them. So Zion, here's a message to you. While you have a fake picture um, and, and you're just commenting us, guess what? Um, we're making money from this. So please, go ahead. Keep attacking us. Uh, Dennis is getting promotion. He's, he's, he, you know, he's putting himself out there. He's putting content out there. My channels are monetized. Uh, you know, we both, you know, we're making money from this. So it's all right. Guess what? Uh, do something better with your life. I like this. Thank you, Amber. What makes stupid Want to take that? I'm, I'm just making sure I understand it. What makes stupid Yes, I think that that's a difference. Uh, you know, people that are evil, like um, I think that there's usually a motive behind that. However, stupidity, stupidity always leads to acting against your own best self-interests. You know, and uh, it's kind of um, there's a there's a there's a picture going around uh, the U.S. today. I don't, I'm sure it's going around everywhere else too. But I, I saw it in my newsfeed this morning where the vice president, uh, Vice President Pence, went to visit. A, he's visiting uh, somebody in the hospital. And, and he wouldn't wear the mask. The only, only one in the room who, who wouldn't wear the mask. I just, it, it, in the article was kind of leaning towards that, the conservative right wing or the, the, the religious part of this, they're, they're against masks, which is why he ended up didn't wear the mask. I don't know why he did or didn't wear the mask. I just don't, uh, I don't understand why we take and act against our own best interests all because of ideology. This one, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's it. Right there. Yeah, everybody else in the room. So I, I, I don't know. I don't even know, like, what to say to that. That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And, and I do think I just I am a big, big believer as a leadership training and development coach is that I understand that that leaders don't have the same job as everybody else. However, leading by example is still the first basic tenet of leadership. So when you when you walk around, if nothing else, I think for a public appearance, a mask should be put on, whether it's helpful or not. I, I don't know. It uh, it does things for people that uh, maybe they are worried about it. It protects them too. I just think we need to. I think I would like to see everybody just really paying attention, like honoring everybody else's opinions where this is concerned, instead of automatically looking and go, "You're an idiot." You're an idiot because you believe different than me. If you can tell me that I'm an idiot because you, you have some sort of proof, please do. I, I mean, my, my comment to a lot of people when they have negative, negative comments is, what evidence do you have to support that statement? And, and, and usually people, people end up going away. Um, I, don't, you know, I don't know why a, a leader would not wear a mask. That's a little troubling to me. So, but it so makes sense as to why we I'm have protesters. The, I'm going to expand on this comment. Yeah, you know, evil people are, are 
because are less dangerous because they're easily identifiable and you protect yourself to, you know, against them. But stupid people, they're not easily identifiable and they could be just, you know, if, if you try to get them out of your life, you're going to say, he's just stupid, right? But an evil person say, oh my God, this guy's really harmful. You put them in jail, you remove them, you get them out of your life. So yes, evil people are less dangerous than stupid people. I agree with that. I agree. Evil, you know so where yeah, Somebody's going. commenting about the, the... Exactly, exactly. Stupid is just passive aggressive. It's erratic. Completely you can't even, erratic and you can't even say they're aggressive. <laughs> hey, finally, a good message for you, man. You're hey, right. thank you, Zion. I appreciate that, sir. Is uh, FQ is that a is that a male name or a female name? I'm not I'm not sure. Zion is a is a man of a man where you're getting where you're coming from, but the lovely, charming man loves spreading hatred. That's me. Yeah, that's about me. <laughs> Thank you to both comments. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he he no he's basically insulting me because I I had just attacked him a little while ago. Yeah, I know. It's but all right. It still, it still worked into a compliment for me, so. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> There's a party that feels good. I agree with this. I, I actually agree with this. And what I would like to see, uh, my personal perspective on this is I, I'm trying to view this not as from a po political agenda perspective, but more from a human agenda. And, 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 and that, you know, I take more of a humanistic approach to these, these sorts of uh, complex situations anyway. And I understand that there's always outliers in, in every situation. However, I do think, I, I don't understand the loose, uh, the loose orders, uh, stay at home orders. Um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me where I'm at. Um, I, I personally would have liked to just seen some, even if I don't agree, even if I don't agree with the decision, I, I am one that I can appreciate direct, deliberate, intentional leadership. This is what we're doing. This is the direction we're going to go. And, and we're going to do the best we can to, to mitigate the risks. Some days ago, remember I told you one of our shows that whenever, whenever you go to speak to an audience, there would be at least one person who would, who would, make sh who would just destroy himself trying to, trying to destroy you. Have you noticed in every one of our live streams, there is one moron? <laughs> Remember the before yesterday we had one, everyone was, you know. I, I'll tell you, FQ, I don't think that we, we, we've had one uh, since like uh, Dr. Fab MD the other day that. Um, hey, what? Well, that Dr. was just Fab the day before MD, yesterday. You know, that was, uh, that was a bit over the top. So that's still, it, to, for me, that's the threshold that someone has to, someone has to cross for me to want to call them. Was I, Zion is getting there, but here's an interesting one. Good comment. Oh, Sarah Nabi, yes. Okay, everybody has it. No, no. Smart, no, stupid, the, yeah. idiots are evil, due to their own different perspective. Yes, that's that's true. Stupid, evil, so forth is. I, I think stupid is based on a perspective. I think evil, evil is evil. Yeah. Um, we just, I think we have to kind of define that. I think a lot of times we attach certain emotions to evil, like oh. I, you know, I, I've heard, uh, you know, here in the U.S., many of the many of the uh, the, the churches are shut down, and that's um, that's really got people really like going nuts. And it's uh, they're saying that the the government is evil for not letting them worship. I, I think sometimes we use these terms just as excuses to justify our own position. Um, evil is evil. Evil is uh, to me. Evil is. Uh, you know, government saying issuing shoot to kill orders for people that are out, that that break curfew, that sort of thing. So you see, so, so stupid is somebody who's just making a mistake or who's just hurting himself or creating a situation where he's harming other other people. But evil is where you are, where you are consciously, willingly making an effort to hurt and destroy people or things. That's evil. I think evil is. Uh, I would I would even say stupidity is not a crime, but evil is is of course a crime against humanity. Sure. So evil cannot be tolerated, uh, but stupidity has to be tolerated. Mm -hmm. uh, like you know we have to tolerate this. I I mean I, I I can I can kick and block him, but you know it's all right. Well, and I just I'll just kind of go a little step back. I think you know a lot of people are, are ignorant. I I look 
if if I don't know something, so let me here let me give you an example of what I, I see the difference between ignorant versus stupid is. I'm ignorant to to COVID. I am as far to the infectious disease control people to in, in our country, Dr. Fauci. Um, I I'm ignorant, and so I defer to their level of knowledge and expertise in this. Where I think stupid stupid to me is a deliberate act. Stupid is in my mind stupid is a deliberate act because now I'm saying, oh listen, like I went to the store. I'm, I didn't wear a mask. I touched my face. I'm fine. You'll be fine too. That's because now I've made it a very deliberate. Yes. Uh, uh, Sara, uh, I, yes, <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> thank you, uh, Sara. I appreciate No, 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 no. How, how, no, how can you say he's just stupid? A, a stupid leader is almost evil. I think Modi. I think Modi is evil. Came from personal, you know, regional hatred. Um, Trump is no better. Ah, uh, uh, I, okay, I think with Trump, she's referring to the. I think she's referring to the, a, referring to the genocide. A, and I and I understand that. I think I think with Trump, I don't think it's uh, it's 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 anything other than you know, kind of an America first policy yeah. so that that kind of a mindset that we've we've gone i mean like i i hesitate to even say this openly but globalism like you if you if you subscribe to the globalist mindset like that's not a popular mindset in the united states right now it's very much um americocentric and america focused and i don't know i i, I as far as uh as far as uh prime minister uh, you know i don't i don't know what mr modi's I don't know what his title is, um, and so and, and I don't really know much about his politics or or that region. I think a lot of this comes from, um, you know, at the end of the day, these, these elected officials they they do what their base, their electorate wants them to do. I mean, that's that's who's signing their paychecks, and that's who's going to keep them employed. No, you can't shift the blame on because people want me to do it. Well, I think that there's some of that. I think I think that there's some of that, especially with evil. Just playing to the gallery, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, because now it makes it easy. Now it now it makes it easy. I listen. I I'm not the one closing down the border. You wanted me to close the border. So, right? so, so now I now I have a scapegoat. Right. So you so you're just finding a, finding justification for your bullshit. Uh, of course. So, I mean, so uh, I mean, isn't that isn't that what we're talking about? Sure, but then Modi can say that you know the the right wing Hindus wanted to kill Muslims. So I said, okay, let's kill a few Muslims in Delhi, and let's start a bloody genocide. Yeah, and and truthfully, FQ, like I'm I'm not uh, I really don't know much about sure what you're what you're referring to. Um, it's it's so crazy over here in my country. I can't. Uh, I'm I'm doing the best I can to kind of keep up. Um, you know, and, and I do, I will say that I, I have developed a certain uh, amount of mistrust to, yeah. towards media outlets. I don't, I would just like to know what's what and that sort of thing. You know, it's like uh, the article I sent you the other day, is this, is this real? And, and your response was, I, I believe it was Al Jazeera doesn't do fake yeah. news. I don't think it was fake news. I mean, Al Jazeera wouldn't do fake news. So this is, this is what we're referring to. So this year? Oh, just, just right before the coronavirus. It, it. Actually, COVID stopped it. Okay. You know, I had it's, seen, if, I had seen, um, I, I had seen like pictures and stuff, uh, you know, of what it looked like people getting beaten in the streets and, and so forth. Um, you know, again, it was actually, it, it was actually state sponsored. The, the police was doing it. Interesting. It, it was really, really, really screwed up, man. Well, and I think it's also easy to say, like, I think it's just kind of human nature is like, wow, that's halfway around the world for me. Like, in order for me to even get to that part of the world, it'd be a 24-hour plane ride. So, yeah. eh, out of sight, out of mind. I think it's easier for us to do that, especially oh, I agree, I with agree human with you, rights absolutely. violations. Or, I, 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 I agree with violations, you. But. Here's yeah, one. I think, I, I think we have a really good opportunity here. Hold on. One's, one's I mean, misery I, I, is another person's opportunity. Uh, I, I agree with that. Um, however, I just don't, I don't, 
I mean, to me, when we talk about evil, the image and stuff I automatically go to is, is a picture of, like, what I was taught Satan look like. And I don't see, like, Satan's not supposed to be good for anybody. So just, just because it serves our needs at the moment doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Satan could be good if you sell your soul to him. Yeah, in, until it's time to cash in and you got to pay the piper. Well, <laughs> come on, eventually right. everyone's got to pay the price. Right, so why not sell your soul for good? Well, see, nobody thinks long term. If people were thinking long term, there would be, there'd, there'd be no madness in this world. There'd be no atrocities and there'd be no wars. But guess what, you know? There will be wars because, and mm -hmm. does, 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 does Satan engineer the war? Humans engineer the war. Humans are Thank humans. You. Are humans, and we, we we choose to be led by whichever belief system or you know that sort of thing that we, we choose. So it's again, it all comes down to a choice. Um, yeah, it all it all comes down to a choice. I, as far as good versus evil, uh, my personal where I'm at in my life is I think the things that I used to think were really good are now more neutral. Things I used to find to be very evil are now more neutral. So I, I think we attach emotions, good or bad. Um, and a lot of things that are really just more neutral. You've got and neutral on evil? It, I think it comes down to what is evil to one is, is not necessarily evil to another. So, and so, I that, think, so that's exactly what you said. That's exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. You're evil, my angel. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I understand that philosophy. I just simply think that, you know, when we, when we always focus on what's good or evil instead of what's best for people right now, I think that's where we end up getting into these, the, 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 the polarization of these conversations happens. Is it good or is it evil? I, I don't know. I, 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 and this could be a very Americocentric culturally comment, but you know, the churches that won't shut down, one of the biggest things I, I heard from, from these large church groups is that, well, we'll shut down. We'll shut down when the abortion clinic shut down. I'm just like, you know, or, or we'll shut down when, when, we have our, when we have enough guns. It's just, you know, I, we're always finding a way to justify our own behavior. And so well, I think we like, have to look yeah, at, is it bad behavior or is it evil? To me, evil is anything that would be a terribly horrible uh, human rights violation, something that's against somebody else. You know, if we just look at the Holocaust, there, I don't see how there's any way to justify that, that killing that amount of people... It can be justified. I, I just don't, not unless, you're, let, unless you subscribe to evil. I don't know. I think you just defined it. If, if anything is a crime against, against humanity, if it's a crime, then, it, then it's, it's pure evil. It has to be stopped. And if it's not a crime and you're just being bloody stupid, then that's just stupidity. And that's why I think the comment about Trump being stupid and Modi being evil is because that's genocide and, you know, stuff like that, regardless of the justification. And whereas Trump is, or Imran Khan is just being stupid. They're not, they're, not, yeah. they're not committing blatant crimes. No. They're just making bad decisions. Yeah, or, or decisions that only benefit a few. Sure, fine. They're, they're, they're bad decisions from somebody's perspective. Absolutely. So, 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 so from someone's perspective, it's stupid. But from somebody else's perspective, it's not stupid. Correct. But evil correct. is evil. That's it. Evil is evil that and is there's correct. no discussion about it. That's correct. So I think yeah, we have, a, cr a okay. crime is a crime is a crime. I want to invite Isa and, and, and um, Monize to just dial in and have a conversation. And if you don't want to show your face, that's fine. Shut your camera, use your voice. Uh, so Monize and Isa, because you guys are having a conversation in the comments, why not just jump in? I'll post the link once more and just come on in. And come and have a conversation. Yes, please. But I, Since you guys are having this conversation anyway, we, I would, would love to, we'd love to hear that. Uh, good comments, but they're having this conversation between themselves back and forth. I'll just show them here. But it would be nice if you, just, if you guys just, just, you know, join in. Uh, Isa, I, like, I, uh, thank you for putting that. I like that comment, um, and I, I agree with that. Engineer wars are evil. Oh, genius. Again, uh, Amber, you know, I think that, that that comes down to perspective. I mean, yeah. uh, that really just comes down to perspective. And I, I can just say, I, I will just say this. I, I am sure I am sure that this, the, the, the people of Iran have a very different opinion about, like, what I'm told our country is doing over there. It's, it's basically we're over in Iran doing the Lord's work. 
However, I don't think people in Iran think that we're over there doing the Lord's work. So again, we're just talking perspectives, and and, and maybe that's a very low hanging fruit example. I, I don't know, but and again, I don't know all the geopolitics involved with that. Um, you know, we're no, we can be, we, a certain way. No, we can go back in history, uh, the Crusades and mm -hmm. the and what happened before that. So you know, um, both sides justified it completely in the name of either religion or brotherhood or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's a very, it becomes subjective when you throw in things like that. When you, when you yeah. throw faith and when you, when you throw brotherhood, mm -hmm. when you throw family into the mix, then it becomes very subjective. Sure. You know, like the Kublai Khan or Chinggis Khan, you know, all these people waged war. Alexander the Great waged war. Mm -hmm. uh, Columbus populates and colonizes, uh, you know, uh, the natives. Right. All that becomes justified eventually. But atrocities like, like the Holocaust, it never becomes justified. Right. I mean, you, you can throw whatever crap you want in the mix, you can't justify it. I, I, I agree. And, and yes, uh, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're completely correct. I, you know, we, it, it, this, this evil, evil is more than just, you know, uh, the victor gets to write history, right? I mean... I, I would even say this much, that, you know, the, the Palestine-Israel war, if you look at it from uh, either side's perspective, uh, it becomes justified from either side's perspective. I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going to get into trouble about saying shit, which would, you know, start a debate. But from their perspective, they're justified. From their perspective, they're justified. I'm not siding with anybody. No. I think any kind of war is is madness. Yes. But fine, whatever. But but when you look at the Holocaust, you can't you can't justify it. If you go to the, if you go to the you know the the Vikings moving into the 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 you know the 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 uh, in, in Britain and in France. It becomes justified because that's what they did at that time. Sure. Uh, if, if you look at the, the, the Turks, the Ottoman Empire, trying to conquer the world, it becomes justified at some level. But you know what? Uh, at the same time, the Mongols killed millions of people. Right. And how do, right. is that evil? I don't know. Because at the same time, well, I was just watching a video a little while ago, actually, and in fact, I could just put it on the screen maybe, but I would get a strike probably. It's about a video in Singapore in 1930 something where the British Empire uh, had a whole parade and, and a golf course was filled with people, spectators, for 115 um, you know, snipers, or not snipers, but what do you call them? They had uh, the, the mass lined up and what do you call that? What, what's Execution. Called? Execution, but what's the word? Shooting what? Um, I'm, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying. 115 people with, with rifles stood there and they shot like 60 people down in Singapore. Okay. Because they went against the British Empire as well. So, can you justify it? I, I don't know. Well, I but think it, context, I, I mean, again, uh, FQ, I think context really plays a big part in this. Um, you know, I, I look at... Uh, I, for me, one of the biggest things that I've, I've struggled with, with with massive amounts of death is when you look at like religion, we, we, you know, religion has so many good things. It's, it's for us. It's for us to like be good people, it, to, to treat others well. And, and how many times have we used our religious beliefs for simply, I mean, the, religious beliefs have killed a lot of people. And I'm not, I don't know whether that's right or wrong, I, but it has. Yeah, yeah. Hamad, thank you so much for sharing this. I love people like you who make a good comment. You know what? I was about to, uh, I was actually forgetting which country that was. You're right. Leopold of Belgium. He, it, it was insane what he did. And history does not talk about it enough. Dennis, are you, are you aware of uh, I am not. And, and I'm going to just tell you where oh, this bothers me. This is very, this, this is really insane. My, my original college education was in history, and 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 you're correct. I have not heard of this. Uh, the, he he, uh, I'm I'm going to open this uh, for the sake of this discussion. Yeah, here you go. It was strictly business. Oh my goodness, up to 15 million. 
So they, they're, they're assuming it was around 10 million. The Holocaust was what, like 8 million? So it was, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of people. You know, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't even, genocide is a very, very tricky uh, conversation for me. Um, yeah. You know, for me, I, and we still have, the death penalty is still very much alive and well here in the United States and you know it doesn't take a it doesn't take a scholar to know that the United States incarcerates more people than anybody else in the world so it's just it's um, I personally am not for the death penalty and, and a lot of it there's a human component to it but there's also th things um, financially it just doesn't make a lot of sense I would be a little bit more okay with our death penalty if we called it the revenge penalty because I mean technically that's what it is so it's uh, interesting. And Hamad, thank you so much for bringing that up. Uh, that, that really added a lot of value to my day. So uh, to get to learn about that, I, I wasn't aware of that. So thank you. Yeah. When was that? 1920. Yeah, so, so kind of like really when colonization was at its, you know, we were like, people were taking over everything, right? When did, uh, when exactly. did India, so, when did India get its freedom? Was it in that late? 1947. And it, I was, I was about to check that and it triggered, a, a, a not a war, but sort of a civil war between Hindus and Muslims. And, uh, there was some serious, serious killing. Yeah, I mean, I think we can go back through history. I, I think that there are some that are... Humanity has done a lot of crazy shit, man. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, I, I see it. I, I don't know. I think that there was a difference when the world was kind of uh, up and coming and, and people were fighting for territory. We, we still seem to be doing that, um, which is interesting with landlocked countries. I don't know where people are necessarily thinking they're going to expand to. Yeah, no, actually, FQ, this is something I, I am a little bit more familiar with only because um, I've, I've, I, do, I do business in India and uh, I just I'm friends with a lot of people from India. Yeah. So the, the point being, we, we, we've quoted all these examples, uh, but the thing is that, you know, PNC has done a lot of crazy shit in the past. And it's yeah. interesting that in 1918, with the Spanish flu, we didn't learn. While there was a Spanish flu killing people, World War I was killing people. Yes. Uh, and, and likewise, here we are in 2020 with nature, you know, correcting us once again. But are we, are we getting corrected? Fine, short-term stupidity, people wanting to violate lockdown. Well, that's, that's really short-term and small stupidity in the larger game. Right. Right. Uh, but in the, in, in, in the larger perspective, um, the thing is... Uh, in, in the larger perspective, are we going to come out better people? Or are we going to come out just as shitty as before? Are we going to learn? Are we going to stop fighting nice. wars? Are we, are we going to stop no. chasing oil? Are we going to stop, you know, the whole Muslim world is at war with each, you know, with each yeah, other? I, I think it's, uh, you know, I think that there's certain the parts of human nature, FQ. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like to say, you know, oh, I can't wait for 2,000 years of evolution and fish are climbing trees. I mean, they... <laughs> You know, I think humans are always going to end up acting like humans. Um, I, I think that we, we are so prone. I think many wars, it, whether it's belief system, it's, it's very much a, an emotional construct of I'm right. You know, and, and I think that yeah. I, having come from a very conservative religious background, um, I was one of those that was out there like, you're going to hell. Like, you're going to hell. Like, I'm like, that's wrong. Well, I don't know. I look back at that time in my life and one, I, I'm not embarrassed about it, but I kind of am because I just was so unenlightened and so uninformed and just so unintelligent. And I'm somebody that, that prides myself on intelligence. So, however, we all have to grow, you know, and mature as well. Back in the 80s, I was, uh, I, was, I was often called, you know, told I'm going to hell because I haven't accepted Jesus as my savior. Um, this is back in Louisiana, 1983. And then I took a philosophy of religion class. And I, until then, I was just like an 18-year-old. And I told my teacher that I, I, I'm often told that because I'm a Muslim, that I'm going to burn in hell because I haven't accepted Jesus as my savior. Yeah. And he just said, you know, next time somebody tells you that, go tell them, let God be the judge of that. Quote the Bible, you know, let God be the judge. There you go. Let God be the judge of that. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So yeah, but that's learning. Uh, but 30 years yonder, here I am, and different perspective in life. But uh, let's um, let's end this with a question Very to good. a lot of people: that are we uh, are we learning anything from this? Are we are we come, going to come out as better human beings? Or God forbid, are we going to go back to our own sh old, old shenanigans once again? Dennis, I think the answer your to final that comment. is it depends on the individual. I think we're going to have a tremendous amount of people that come out uh, being much better. However, I also think there I think we're going to be divided. That's I think it's going to be about probably about 50-50 with but, a little but, bit but, of variation. But my question was not individual. My question was as a society at large, as but, as humanity. But individual individuals change the society as a large, as a whole, right? I mean, we do that through we do that through a democratic process. We do that, and in other countries, maybe it's not a democratic process. I mean, let's I, <laughs> there are certain countries where uh, you know the the way that the leader the next leader gets into power is because the first one got killed, right? I mean, so they get taken out. So it, there's always change that's going to come about. Um, I guess that I guess it's just going to remain to be seen because I I think individuals create the bigger the overall change. I want to look at this comment because, you know, a lot of typing, can't leave this. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I, I completely agree with this. Um, the world is a better place because I'm a better human being within the world. So I look at it as, uh, you know, especially from, from a psychology and a coaching perspective, um, I'm not really, I don't really want to change the world. That's just overwhelming and way too big. However, um, I do want to change the world in which I live. So, which means I can take and help and, 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 and add value to those within the world I'm around. And then that take, they do the same to there. And that's how we, we take and start kind of a global movement. One of my teachers from many, many years ago uh, said something in Urdu. He said, you know, Fard se qom banti hai qom se mulk, mulk se millet. Um, he was basically saying, individual forms a nation, a nation forms a country, and the country forms humanity. Or the, or the human. And he said, if, and he said if, the, if the individual, the quality of the individual determines the quality of the world. So if the individual screwed up, we don't expect anything better from, 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 from the world. And you, yes, you're right. Uh, Aliza perfectly said, I, I, I hope next time you have a better connection. I, we, we'd love to take you online. Um, you're right. The only thing that I am responsible for changing, and, I, and I'm a religious man, uh, so I keep bringing in religion. Um, every religion tells you to just do that. Uh, Quran is very specific about it, that, you know, I am not responsible for you. I am responsible for me. I need, it, it, it is my own discipline. I, my job is to work on myself only. And once I work myself, I'm responsible for my wife, my children. To do anything more. All you need to do is fix yourself. So your mom is perfectly right. I fully agree. Uh, and again, you know, I'm, I don't want to leave until I've answered Isa's comments because it's beautiful comments. Eliminating the ego. Yes. Uh, Dennis, you want to take that on as a subject, as a topic? Ego. Yeah. I mean, How do you I, deal I, with I, that? I mean, I just, I, I constantly remember to myself that uh, one of my, one of my mentors coming up uh, in the fire department told me this, which is that egos eat brains. And, and that's really, really true. Yeah. Ego, egos eat brains. When you get your, when the ego is too big, now we're, now we start calling it the S word, right? Stupid. And, and that's really where, where stupidity yeah. comes in is like, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Even though I have no evidence to support that, that statement. Okay. I, I want to plug this in here actually, uh, for people, um, who are interested. I just read this book the other day and it's a very good book. Obstacle is the way ego is the enemy. Very interesting book. If somebody wants to read it, please pick it up. And when you, when you Google this, you will see this, um, these videos which basically summarize uh, the book. Um, and it's not just that the ego is the enemy, but obstacle is the way is also very important where you have to see the obstacles not as obstacles, but because they're the challenges which will guide you uh, on your way. Uh, so if somebody wants to read this book, please do. I'm getting comments and I, I know I keep trying to sign off, but I keep getting these people who are typing so much and I don't want you to just run away on them. As society, we'll be much, much closer society than before. 
every country would want to protect their own at any cost, but health will become a bigger priority, sure. Uh, somebody's joined in. Let me see if. Uh, if, in. Let me see if, uh, if Mother, you need to you, you need, need to wear to, a headphone or something. Wear a headphone oh. or something. Oh. I remove them, and uh, also his camera's not on, so no camera, no participation. Sorry, you gotta put your camera on, unless if you're a woman, then I can have that uh, uh, leeway. You're looking at something a lot of, of concentration. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to connect with some people that have been commenting. So, so what do you what do you have up there? You have two monitors. Yes. And you yeah. have one on the other. Well, uh, so I, I actually have a 48-inch uh, television screen up here. That's so, a second. Um, yeah, that's my second monitor. So my, 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 main, my main computer, I don't know, it's a Mac. It's not the big, huge 27-inch. That was just way too big for me, and I ended up taking it back. Um, so, But I, I put yeah. a television above my, and I just use it as a second monitor. Um, I, you know, I, I create a lot, so I, I've just I've got different things all over the place, especially when I'm like writing up policies and procedures for for uh, organizations that I just yeah, have yeah. A lot of I'm, I I open. I live with two monitors as well, but my my other monitor is just an old monitor, which is uh, right hand. Side. Well, this this is this is my secondary monitor. Okay, and I and I, at one which, point which, I was I was running three um, when I was uh, when I was trading stocks every day. You needed to be is able there to watch graphs and charts. Is there anything you have? I'm sorry? Is there anything you haven't done in life? Stockbroking? I was not a stockbroker. Um, I was never licensed. I just, I, I did, uh, I handled my own investments. So um, I, I'm one that I, I, I just kind of look at people. I'm like, well, if you can do that, I, I guarantee I can do it. So, um, it, you know, and I and I, my ego is and my arrogance is like, well, if you can do that, I guarantee I can do it like twenty times better. So um, I ended up, yeah, I had a I had a money guy managing mm -hmm. my money, and what we it went south really bad. So it went south real quick because like three years ago, I called I called my stockbroker and I said, hey, like I'm telling you, oil's down right now, and so I want you to buy oil for me, and he's like, no, that's not a good investment. Yeah. Well, within like a week. Everything I had told him to do, he never did. So I'm like, that's it, you're fired. And I took it over myself. So I took some courses and stuff, and, and I actually, I'm, 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 I'm actually pretty good at it. And, and the reason is, is not because I necessarily understand the market or I understand numbers. Like, I understand patterns. I understand patterns. And so, like, uh, I don't know if this was, a, like, broadcast over there, but uh, a big pizza company here in the United States, it, like, I saw it. They took in uh, the owner of the pizza corporation. He used a um, he used a racial slur that is not well taken in our country at all. And as soon as he said that right. word, those stocks went down. I mean, they crashed. And so I was able to take and buy a whole bunch um, at a very low price. I knew within three to five days, people are short sighted. They're they for, they're very forgetful. And so, oh well, we we don't care that he said this word. We want pizza. So, <laughs> in this, fact, with the price. So, since, since we've agreed to plug, plug shit in, I'm going to plug this. Uh, a, a, I really, you know, I've known you for a long time, but with these conversations, I'm getting to know you more and more. And I'm realizing you're, you're such, a, such a soulmate. Um, I've been in the software business for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what you just said is my favorite line. Every time a client would say, hey, can you build this? I would ask them one question. Has anyone else ever built this? And they go, yeah, and like, if he can do it, so can I. Yeah. It's just a matter of learning how to do it. Show me what he's done, and I'll do it. Yeah. And I did that. And as for, as for stock trading, my primary business is financial trading technologies. I personally wrote a financial trading system, which, which was used on Hong Kong, Singapore, London, New York, and various other markets for 20 years. So fintech? I uh, know. Fintech, kind of yes, but fintech... Yeah, fintech has become a, a, a new word for um, electronic currencies and stuff like that. Cryptos, okay. Yeah, but when, when we did this, it was not called fintech. It was financial trading technologies. Got but it. it was specifically not financial technologies, but, typically, but specifically financial trading technologies. So we wrote a system and operated a system which was connected to stock exchanges and helped hedge funds and larger brokers or banks offer it to their 
client. Okay. So we were, the, we, we were the middle broker. Our technology was a middle broker. That's so cool. Like, I, I, I'm so glad to, to know that. I, you know, for me, like, I, I get kind of, uh, I listen to people, and we'll just talk about our presidents because everybody, like, focuses on that. But, you know, there's a lot of people, like, in the, uh, in the United States that, that their companies and stuff, they, they produce so much, they really don't have very much of a tax burden. And so there was a lot of years I'm like, screw those guys. They don't pay their taxes, and that's not right. And what, what I finally did, FQ, was I'm like, well, wait a minute. Instead of being upset that they're doing it, figure out how I can do it. So, and that, that was a whole shift of like, well, I mean, it's, it's kind of like this. One of the reasons I have an electric car is I, get reimb I use that car for business. Every time I drive it, I get reimbursed for mileage. It cost, that car costs me nothing in maintenance. And right now I'm getting 58 cents on the dollar for every mile I drive. It cost me twenty dollars, twenty to a hundred dollars a month to operate that car. That's it. See, I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Donald Trump, and not not now. I've I've been his fan for the longest time. I've read his books. I you know I, since the '80s uh, when when he when he first went bust. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've been I've been sort of in love with the guy since then, um, because you know again I, I I told you about three people I really respect on media: Russell Brand, Ricky Gervais, and Pierce Morgan. And Donald Trump, these are all shamelessly, blatantly sell themselves, totally. arrogant, whatever you want to call it. You know, they, they, have, they, have no, they have no issues with, with who they are. And they're no. blatant about it. And you can, yeah. you can throw Steve Jobs in there. You can throw Elizabeth Holmes. I mean, there's all these people in current present day that you could totally throw into that category. That, um, you know, it, I, I, I look at like Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, one of the greatest American inventors. However, like he 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 was known to be like a shyster. He he he, he was a liar. Uh, but that's not what we remember him as. And I just I think we're constantly reinventing ourselves. I think that we we present one way, but there's always things behind that behind the veil or behind the mask yeah. that people don't see. And um, Again, it, for me, instead of worrying about, oh, they get this, oh, the rich, the rich, the, oh, they get all this cool stuff. Well, instead of pining away for what they have or trying to take away what they have, why not just figure out a way for myself to get it? That just, sure. That's a whole it, easier way to go about it than trying to fight my way up. The reason I invoked Trump was because during his electoral campaign, it all came out that he doesn't, he doesn't pay much tax and how he avoids paying tax. Mm -hmm. And I loved his line. He said, you know what? I have good accountants. I'm not breaking a law. Go find better accountants for yourself. That's correct. And I was like, yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm working. I'm wor Steve Jobs, when, when, he was, he was, he, when he had the Senate hearing about all the money he had sitting offshore, mm -hmm. uh, people should, should watch that video. They kept saying, oh, you got a trillion dollars. out of And he just sat there and smiled. He said, I haven't broken a law. Right. right. <laughs> you know, I, I, do whatever you want. Yeah, it's my money. It's cash sitting all over the world. I haven't broken but, a law. But now what we're doing, FQ, is now what we're doing is we're, we're, we're assigning a value judgment, right? I mean, oh, he did this, so this or that's evil. Well, why does that make that evil? It's not a crime against humanity. It, what makes yeah. it, is it bad behavior? I don't know if it's bad behavior. It's operating within the lines of the law. And if that's the case, then maybe we need to look at changing the law. I mean, instead of, instead exactly. of the individual, let's change the process. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I th I, I'm, I'm idolizing these people and these events. I'm idolizing this shit. I'm like, yeah, baby. If, if, you, if you want to say that this is wrong, go change the law, then I'll stop doing it. Change the law. But if I, and, 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 I, and I say this often when people come and question about, about certain things. I say, has he committed a crime or a sin? If neither, then... Screw you. Right. If it's not yeah. a sin, if it's not a crime, screw you, man. Right. He's, he's working the system. But, but now we're talking about... And if it's about, a sin... Yeah. Now, but now it's, is it a sin? But I get to say it's a sin. And you get to say it's not a sin. And so now, now we have all of these bigger divides so, and bigger divides and bigger divides. No, no. I was about to say that for the sin, let God be the judge of that. Yep. One of my teachers was actually asked... Uh, this is an Islamic scholar... Somebody said, you know, if there is rape, Islam has this whole thing about adultery, and I'm sure Christianity does too, how you need witnesses and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, he, and he asked a question to the, to the scholar saying, you know, if it's a rape 
or adultery, is it our job to investigate because adultery is a huge sin? And he said, you know what, if it's adultery, let God be the judge of that. But if it's rape, then we will employ every resource known to man to find the criminal. There it is. So, so your sin, my sin, let, God, let our God yes. be the judge of that. In the Absolutely. end, we'll see if you were a sinner or not. But if you've committed a crime, you know, it, it, then it's a problem. If, if, you, if, you if, if you have committed adultery, I'm not going to hold you, hold you responsible for that. Let God do that. But if you have missed an appoint, appointment, if you have lied, if you have, you know, been unfair in your business, that's a crime, and we will hold you accountable. In the meantime, my, what, what was that? My, what is more important than your, um, your my, my liberty is more important than your health. Right. So let's, let's say good night. Let's on end with that, that one. No. All right, man. All right, man. Hey, thank Take you care so of much. Everybody, thank you for your comments. We'll see you soon. Right.